Greetings everyone, it's IT2 again, and it's been a while since I've done this, so hopefully my camera skills have not degraded too badly. Uh, we're doing pro cooking today, guys. Um, so I got a story to tell you before we get started, and I gotta wash the dishes before I can even start cooking. Uh, first, let's take a quick look around my kitchen. <laughs> it's pretty messy. I've got this table where I skinned my deer out last year. And I've got the gnat infestation, so I've got these like uh, ribbons set up. Like, if you see that gnat right there, and they're, they're all over the place. So I uh, set up these little bowls of <laughs> like vinegar and sugar, water, and that's caught like a bunch of them. There's another one in the living room, and I've already emptied it like a couple of times. So there's like a shitload of gnats in my house this year. Uh, so that was due to my sewage problem, which I think I got fixed, but. Temporarily at least But here's the story Yesterday or last week. I told you guys on the stream a co-worker went camping At the national park that I go to sometimes and he found a hen of the woods mushroom he Sent me a picture of it on snapchat, so I didn't get to save the picture to show you But he knew where it was he told me about it and I made that video where I went looking for it and apparently it was like 15 20 yards past where I stopped so I was like right there at it and I didn't see it the one I did find that was brown that I kicked over, I thought was a rotten one. It could have been a maitake mushroom, which is like um, Gandolfo frondosa or something like that. The Latin name for it. But some people call those in the woods. But the one I'm talking about is an orange-white mushroom. It's called a sulfur shell or a polypore sulfur mushroom. Sulfur shell polypore. That's what uh, the one is. It's called a latiparous sulfurous which is kind of like Sulphurus Hammer in Warcraft. Or Latiparus Cincinnatus, which is similar, but that's the one that grows on the trees, I think, and the Sulphurus grows on the ground. But then you look at pictures, you'll see both versions. So I'm not sure if like the hen of the wood just grows on the ground, chicken of the wood grows on the tree itself, or on logs. Or maybe the hen can grow on logs. It's kind of weird. But as long as it's like a polypore, and it's not got gills, and it's all like a bunch of shells, if it's orange and white, or just solid white, some of them are, or brown, probably going to be edible. But, you know, don't take my advice. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> I'm not that that's even medicine. But this thing was so big that it takes up four, three of my biggest bowls. I've got it in the fridge. I didn't get a picture of it all put together because it was dark. And so he calls me up at 5 o'clock yesterday. We go to his girlfriend's house. We're hanging out there. I'm like, it's just taking a while. We should probably get going because, you know, it's going to get dark. And, like, he thought it got dark at 7 o'clock. But I'm telling him, like, like, we're getting into October now and the days are getting shorter. And we dick around and we finally get down there at, like, 6, 6.15. And it's already pretty much getting dark. Like, this is where I would have already, if I was out in the woods, I would have turned, turned around and went home. And we're just getting started. So we go hiking out the woods, the same path I went down. And you can't even really see... The ground very good because it's already pitch dark and uh like it's starting to storm too there's lightning and a little bit of rain <laughs> we finally get down there like we get halfway and he's like well, this don't seem where it's at and i'm like no we didn't go past that 90 degree bend yet right so he said oh yeah it's past that so we went past that and we finally found it and then we it was so big we couldn't even fit it into the bag like holes he had to take all the leaves off of it Put him in a bag, put him in his backpack. And then on the way home, it started lightning and shit. And we heard like this wolf howling. And it was like super spooky, which is good because it's Halloween times. But uh, and then on the way home, it started this flooding rain. Went back to his girlfriend, came back to my house. And it was like the whole way there, we were like, we stopped at, uh, we went under this bridge. And somebody was like, it was raining so hard, somebody had pulled off the road and stopped under the bridge. They had like blue headlights on. And they, jamming out to their music with the bass reverberating under this bridge. It was like surreal. It was a weird night. Plus he's like talking to this other chick that he's trying to cheat on his girlfriend with. <laughs> That's a whole other story. But uh, let me show you this mushroom. You'll get to see all my nasty fridge too. This is it down here. Sulfur shelves. So I got the biggest pieces. I think they're over here. Like That's like two of these as a, as a meal in itself. 
And I got three balls of this crap. That's my Bud Lights back there. I don't even know, like, I'm assuming you cook it just like you cook chicken, so I'm gonna bread it. I'm gonna roll it in eggs and then flour. Fry it in oil. I might try deep frying some of it, but this deep fryer's not got a lot of oil in it. Well, I could put some oil in it. And it's not even really big enough for a mushroom that size. You have to cut it up into small chunks. So I'm gonna experiment around, I guess, and see how to cook one of these things. Maybe I'll take some to work with some and work try it. It's crazy. It's gonna be like at least a week's worth of food. And just imagine in the woods, these things grow and they rot and nobody ever harvests them most of the time. So I think much food just wasted because nobody ever gets them. They don't know about it. And that's just one type of mushroom. The oyster mushrooms, they're everywhere too. It's crazy. But like, uh, at least like morels, turkeys and other animals eat them. But like these big ones, I don't think any animals even eat them. So I don't even know what the point of them is. Just laying out there on the waste. And they taste like chicken. <laughs> it's like, this could solve a lot of the world's problems if people just realize stuff like this. Anyway. All right, to start off with, I like to set up my stuff in an orderly fashion where you got your git over here. This is a couple of eggs. Zoom in on that. So we got an egg wash here. We're gonna put our mushrooms in that. Then we'll put them in the flour. Then we'll put them in the oil. And then we're done. So I took a couple of the mushroom leaves. I put them over here on a paper towel. And I patted them dry. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but it seems like a good idea. So I'll show you what these look like. This one here is probably too big to do by itself. If you break it open, you see the bottom here, it's spongy. It doesn't have any gills. That's why they call it polypore, I think. And it looks like chicken breast meat on the inside. It's white, nice looking meat. So put that in our egg wash, just like that. Put that in our flour. Usually I put milk in my egg wash, but I didn't have any. So I'm getting a lot of egg in my flour, which is probably fine. I don't know. They also have a couple little black spots on these things. Not sure if that's bugs that have laid eggs or some kind of something to do with the mushroom itself. But I ain't gonna bother with getting them all off because there's so many of them. Gonna have to. Oh yeah, that's a really interesting smell. Some of them kind of look. A little bit moldy in some places, but like I don't, we can't obviously have fungus on a fungus. I don't know how mushrooms can even go bad because mushrooms is what happens when things go bad, right? Oh, see how much we can get in a skillet. A couple of them like that. That looks really nice. I'm not even sure what's good to eat with these things. Some of them are like little baby pieces I could make like chicken poppers. Oh man. The smell is coming off of them. It really reminds me of something like from Long John Silver's or... Yeah, it smells like fish from Long John Silver's. Get a plate ready. We got an exit station. I'm not sure how much I can eat in one day, but this is a lot of food. I need to get it eaten pretty quickly. Shake up that flour. Not really good at holding flour onto it. side to side and you do a flip and you go side to side. That's how you flower stuff good. Dun, 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 dun. See if these are ready to flip. Ooh. 
That looks a nice. Oh, that's a lot of air though. We're getting a lot of bubbles. I don't know why. One thing I could do is take this uh, deep frying mitt, scoop this out, shake the powder off and then drop them in there like that. Or I could just deep fry them in that thing. I don't know how long you gotta do this for. Or what's something good to eat with what's good with chicken? Um potatoes? French fries? Slaw? I don't have any of that. Huh. Got some yams. TGA Friday's potato skins. Still got this many blackberries left from blackberry season last year. Made probably six cobblers. Guy at work recommended I should take some uh, teriyaki marinade and try to make teriyaki chicken with mushrooms instead of chicken. I used to have some buffalo seasoning. I used that all the other day. This will be absorb some of that oil. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Get this one down because it's kind of they got a little bit of an arch to them. They might be floating above the oil. Usually, when I cook meat, though, I'll flip it another time. That looks like a long pizza slice. That'll be our test one. Start out with a little bit, <laughs> move on to the, the wider one. Okay, okay, okay. Let's turn this heat down a little bit. Getting a little bit out of control here. If this is like the same as fried chicken, holy shit, I'm, look how much food we got. Alright, let's let that rest while we put, let's try our strainer idea. We dip them, shake them, like that. Oh, we got a lot of egg or something over here. A bunch of egg came with it. Get in there. My dog's getting interested. She heard the word egg. Oh shit. Can't even see. Just oil air. Okay, got off. This don't look right. Something's gone wrong, as usual. Wouldn't be pro at cooking if some wild shit happened. Didn't happen. Uh, I mean, I got room for more mushroom in there, I think, but can't see where to put it. I mean, it's a little bit like a cross between chicken and mushroom. You kind of trick yourself into thinking it really is just chicken. I got smoke coming out of my mouth. That's crazy. I don't know much about sulfur, but it makes you wonder if, like, there's something that's in animals that makes them all taste like chicken might be sulfur. 
try a little Frank's Red Hot. Oh, I got, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here, I'll probably make a little Red Hot out. And my dog's wanting some. So I don't know if something in the mushroom makes the oil all bubbly. But it kind of fucks with your second batch. The first batch is fine. And then it's like, look at that. I flipped it over. It's more air coming out. Is that water trapped in the mushroom or I didn't dry those ones off? Oh, I bet it is. It's water. Water and oil don't mix. It makes it all bubbly. You ever try to deep fry something that's been frozen? It's got that ice on the edge. It just bubbles up like this. <sighs> I don't want to blend the mushroom on that. That's my bad. I gotta really pat things down and dry them off before I do this. But that's been uh, Pro Cooking Hand of the Woods, Mushroom to T2.